Welcome to this quick tutorial. Today you'll learn how to set up a VPS on Volter and connect to it using Visual Studio Code's SSH feature. Here's what we'll cover. 1. Signing up for Volter, including how to get free credits to try the platform. 2. Essential account setup. We'll go through the steps you need to take before creating your VPS. 3. Deploying your VPS, how to set it up to host your Freak Trade trading bot. 4. Connecting to your VPS using Visual Studio Code's SSH plugin to access your server easily. By the end of this video, you'll be ready to set up a VPS on the Volter platform and connect it to VS Code for remote development. Volter is a cloud platform that makes it really easy to set up and manage VPS instances quickly and affordably. They also have many data center locations around the world, so you can choose the best one for you. To get started, just click the link in the description below to get a $300 free credit. This gives you a full 30 days to try out the platform and test your VPS setup for free. So, let's dive in and get your VPS up and running. After signing up, before you set up your VPS, you'll need to add a payment method and update your information. First, it's optional, but I suggest changing your preference to dark mode. It can be easier on your eyes. Next, you can follow the steps on the welcome page or go to your account settings. Click on Make a Payment or you can pick your payment method. If you want, you can just use a credit card and choose the option to link your card with a $0 deposit. On this page, you'll also see your available credits on the right side, which is great for keeping track of your balance. Now, let's go to the profile page to enter the needed information. Once you've done that, we can go to the products page and click on deploy new server. The server we're setting up will mainly be used to run the Freak Trade crypto trading bot. If you're new to Freak Trade, we have a tutorial and we've linked it in the description below. Freak Trade recommends using a Linux cloud instance with at least 2 GB of RAM, 1 GB of disk space, and 2 vCPUs. It's also best to run it with Docker. We can use Volter's cloud compute with a shared CPU because it is a budget friendly option that has enough power to run Freak Trade. If you're trading on Binance, it's a good idea to host your server in Tokyo, Japan. This can help reduce latency since it's near Binance's Asia servers. For the operating system, we'll pick Ubuntu, specifically the 24.04 LTS version. LTS means long-term support, so it's a stable version with extended support. We'll choose the AMD High Performance option, which has two virtual CPUs and 2 GB of memory, plus 60 GB of storage. We're going with AMD for its great performance and efficiency, which is really helpful for regular computing tasks. If you're using this setup for dry runs, you can run several Freak Trade instances on one server. But if you're live trading, it's better to use one Freak Trade bot per server to make sure you have enough resources and reduce potential risks. For extra features, we don't need auto backup or IPv6 for this setup, so you can leave those options unchecked. We'll talk about SSH keys in a later tutorial, so for now, you can skip that part. For the server host name and label, it's good to use something clear, like the strategy name with tags like dry run or live trade, to help you quickly see what each server is for. The cost for this setup is $18 per month. Once everything is set up, just click deploy to deploy your VPS. After our server is up and running, we can click on it to see its details. Here you'll find the IP address and password we need to connect. Next, let's set up the connection to our server using the SSH extension in VS Code. SSH, which stands for Secure Shell, is a protocol that allows secure remote access to your server. First, click on the Extensions icon in the left sidebar of Visual Studio Code. In the search bar, type SSH and find the remote SSH extension. Go ahead and install it. With the remote SSH extension installed, we can easily connect to our VPS. This lets us manage files, run commands, and work directly on the server like it's part of our local setup. This makes working on the VPS easier and more friendly. Next, at the command prompt, type the command connect to host. In the prompt that appears, select add new SSH host and type root at IP address, where IP address is the IP address of your VPS. Root is the username we'll use to log in. After entering the IP address, press enter you'll be asked to choose the SSH configuration file you want to update. Pick the config file in your user directory, and the extension will automatically add the new host information to this file. 
Now, click on the Remote Explorer icon on the left side of VS Code. Here you'll see the host you just added listed under SSH targets. Click Connect a New Window to open a new window connected directly to your VPS. When asked, choose Linux as the platform since our VPS runs a Linux-based operating system. Then, click Continue when asked. Next, enter the root password for your VPS, which you can find in your server details on the Volter dashboard. Once you enter the password, VS Code will connect to your server using SSH. To confirm the connection, open the terminal in VS Code. If everything went well, you're now connected to your VPS and can start managing it directly from Visual Studio Code. To make the window bigger, you can press Ctrl and the plus key on your keyboard. You can also manage remote folders directly. Just open the Explorer panel in VS Code, click Open Folder, and choose the folder you want to work with on the server. Here, we'll choose the root folder to see the full server directory. You'll need to enter the root password again to complete the connection. Once you're logged in, you'll have direct access to the files and folders on your VPS. This lets you edit, move, or manage files just like they are on your local machine. So it's all about this video. Setting up a Volter VPS and connecting to it through VS Code using SSH is a great way to manage remote servers easily. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or feedback, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll see you next time.